Joining me now live over Zoom is Dr. John Mellers, Chief of Infectious Diseases at UPMC. Dr. Mellers, thanks for taking the time to speak with us. I'm curious, what was your reaction when you first heard the news from Pfizer this morning? Very encouraging with a capital E. It's still early, but the data were uh, encouraging that we will have a vaccine. I think I was most encouraged by the lack of any toxicity signal. So it appears to be safe, but again, it's early. It's the, uh, it's the first quarter in uh, football analogy. Well, and give us some context on just how impressive that 90% number is, because I seem to recall hearing that flu shots are sometimes 60, 65% effective. Well, the flu shot's a guessing game because we don't know which strain is going to come. Uh, and it's not nearly as immunogenic as the SARS-CoV-2 vaccine is. Uh, and so 90% is great. Uh, let's hope that holds up. Uh, it would be a real game changer for preventing further spread. It's going to be a while, though. It's not going to be a simple matter uh, of distributing the vaccine to a couple hundred million people. Uh, and we're going to have to look at safety carefully over uh, the next uh, several months and uh, as we vaccinate the population. Well, do we know anything at this point regarding Pfizer's vaccine about how long it might provide immunity? I mean, because, you know, you need a flu shot every year. What do we know about this at this point? Okay, we don't know a lot. Uh, we know that the vaccine induces antibodies. The antibodies last a while. We do not know how long those antibodies are protective. Uh, the data that were released this morning only showed that uh, a week after the uh, second vaccine, individuals were protected. We need to see how long that protection occurs. We, we just don't know. I think uh, that it will last longer than we initially believed because there is memory from a vaccination in our immune systems that can persist uh, for many months to years. So let's hope we get a good signal there. And Dr. Mellers, uh, last question. Do we know if, is Pfizer giving any information on whether this will prevent the transmission? In other words, if someone is infected with the virus, but they themselves are asymptomatic, would getting this vaccine mean they couldn't transmit it to anyone else? Oh, we don't know that. Uh, that's a big question. And uh, the vaccine takes a while to work. In this trial, 28 days. So if you're asymptomatic and shedding virus, it's completely unknown whether vaccinating that individual who's shedding virus will have any effect on transmission. What we do know is that if somebody who's received the vaccine comes in contact with somebody shedding virus asymptomatically will likely block that infection. Dr. John Mellers from UPMC, thank you so much. Appreciate your insight and we all look forward to hearing more.